Welcome back, Dead End Studios. This is EK in the building. Today we're going to be mixing using antelope plugins only. Now, they have a subscription. I downloaded it and I want to see what type of plugins they got and see if I can do a professional sound and mix with only their plugins. So first off, <clears throat> you get about 30 plugins and notice one plugin I'm missing is a reverb. So me personally, I can't mix a professional sounding record without reverb. So that's right off the rip. They have not one reverb plugin out of all these plugins. They have some good uh, preamps, mic preamps, some EQs, some compressors, very good. But also I had a lot of problems with working in it because they use uh, a lot of processing power compared to other plugins that I use. Uh, the installation is kind of uh, tricky just to even get them to show up. But you see, I got them to show up. Also, when I'm using them, I'm having a problem with my eye lock because you need the eye lock to authorize the plugins, but they'll work for a little while and then they don't work. So let's just get into it and we'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so they got an EQ. Let's listen to this EQ. Okay, this is the compressor 4K strip. It's the, it's the LA-2A version. nowhere near sounds as smooth as a UAD or a SSL um, a Waves version of this also notice the meter the meter is not accurate at all I'm putting peak reduction on it
So you see the meter is not reading accurately at all. And let's just say, let's just pull something else up. So a couple of these plugins, I don't even get what's going on with it. Now, this is another thing that I notice about these analog, analog plugins, right? Let's get out our meter. Right? We're going to keep our meter up here. I got one, two, three, four plugins on this one track. As you see, it's about 30-something tracks, 35 tracks or something in this session, right? So, I have, I'm using four plugins. Look at my processing. It's crazy. There was no way I'll be able to do a whole mix with these plugins, right? Okay, a couple of the mic pre's are pretty good, but uh, th there's no way. Like, how how am I gonna do a plug-in? Let's let's see what this uh delay is. You see, I'm almost at 50%. I got one, two, three, four, five plugins on one channel. That's it. I mean, that's not that's not really going to work for me personally. Also, I'm going to show you guys. Let's close this. Let's take this delay off. So right off the rip, it doesn't feel like it uh it works good to me. It feels bulky. This uh, 1073, this is a mic pre, but the, when you boost the high end, it sounds harsh to me. It really does. Besides for all the problems that I was having with installing it, getting to show up, it's actually showing up and it's actually working right now. 
So I'm kind of surprised. Let's try something else. Now, see, this is another thing. You see, it's spinning. Why Why is this spinning? I got four, five plugins up. And I'm getting the, the, the mouse spinning. Now, let's see what this is going to do. So you want to tell me that it took that long to open up an EQ? I like the idea where they're going with it, but at this time, they definitely have to step up their game. Come on, Antelope Audio. You got to step up your game. I never use none of their hardware. Maybe it works different on their hardware because they have like a UAD setup where the processors is is done on their hardware like the zen or the zen tour that's their hardware i never used that i was just excited that they claim that it works in native now um let's listen to the high end on this eq This EQ has a hard, harsh, harsh high end, top end on it. Okay, I get it, the analog simulation, but come on now. It's too much noise. Sounds okay. It's giving it some good warmth, the low end. Okay, so I got like six plugins on there, right? Let's go back and check our CPU. For some reason, see how it's only sp sp spreading on the first two processes. So, as you see, these is all your processors, right? I7, that's what I have, an I7. So, usually when I'm working in like a UAD or something like that, or Waves plugins, or Arteria plugins, it distributes it equally ab along all of these threads. Okay, instead of why is it showing up just on these on these two threads? And I'm almost at fifty percent. Like that's crazy to me. There's no way that I'll be able to do mix all of these tracks, right? Also noticeably missing, they really don't have a channel strip. Like one one uh plug-in that you can do EQ compression and gating right which all these other manufacturers usually have at least one channel strip what is this UK 69 let's open this up okay this is like a two band or a three band EQ has a fixed frequency at 10k okay I'm getting some artificial noise right here in the mid frequency
and also on the GUI size, it only goes from 100 to 200. Like, from this size to double this size. Like, what about 50? What about 75? So right as soon as that comes on, it's it's heavy. It's too heavy, and it's bringing in harmonics. Uh, this ain't it. Couldn't even begin to really do a mix. Let let's let's see where we at with our processing right now. Look at that. Seven plugins on one channel. All right, let's see some. Let's try this. Okay, also, as you see, you notice on the, um, on the meter. Look how it's jumping. It's not even really reading accurately at all. Not that all other manufacturers read accurately, but it's not even close. It's like jittery. Now, notice where my processing is. Another thing, I don't see how, where's the presets at? Factory preset. They have no presets. <laughs> you know, some people need presets to get a, you know, a basic starting idea, you know. Notice, notice the processing.
put a tremolo on it. Okay, we are, we have fifty percent processing right there. Probably about another five, ten plugins. That's it. I'm maxed out on my computer. Haven't even done no vocal mixing anything, and I still have what twenty something tracks left. So, for me, this antelope is going to be a no. Me personally, this is only my opinion for what I'm doing. You know, you guys try it out and let me know in the comments, you know, if you like it. But I, it, there's no way that I could do a subscription to this. One, they have no reverb plugin. Two, the reverbs are, uh, the plugins are kind of bulky. The, the pl EQ plugins that I tried out with the EQ, they all are harsh, high end. They have a harsh high end. So I don't know it's just because they, they're transitioning into native plugins. I don't know. I don't know if this applies to their powered plugins. I have no idea. I'm only going by what I'm actually showing you guys. So this is definitely going to be a no for me. presets that show up to give you a good starting see it's just like to me it just seems like they need a little bit more development on it to me but anyway I'm not going to waste my time I gotta I have to mix this record and apparently as you guys can see I cannot make mix a, this record we're just using only antelope plugins. It's not going to work. It's physically impossible. So you guys tap in in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I just want to come on here and show you guys. Because I know a lot of times people see ad advertisements. And people will believe the hype. But they do have... Uh, some work to do to get their native bundle up to par and as you guys see i do own quite a few plugins i own waves universal audio ssl plugin alliance even though i canceled my plugin alliance because that kept crashing too and this is the thing i, I need plugins that don't crash that that, that don't don't crash your you know, you work hard, you mixing a record, you're in the middle of mixing a record, you in the vibe, and then boom. You, you, you crash. Now you got to restart the computer, restart, then restart logic. Then you got to get back into your vibe. Remember where you left off. Hope that it saved your last moves. It's just too much. So dependability is the biggest uh method for me and i'm gonna tell you right now this antelope audio is not dependable as compared to ik multimedia as compared to universal audio as compared to the ssl ssl i could go into the ssl right now and i could choose the ssl 4kb the 4000b channel strip which is an eq compressor gate can put uh, coloration on it. It has preamps on it. I could choose that on every track right now. And I guarantee you that it will use less processing power 
Matter of fact, I can show you better than I can tell you. Let's just do this real quick. Let's do this real quick. I'm going to just show you guys. So I've been doing this for over 20 years. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this. All right. Let's reset the channel strip over here. Look at this. I'm getting a circle just because I'm taking off the plugins. Why am I getting the spinning ball? Because I'm taking off plugins. It makes no sense to me. Why does it take this long? So, wow, you see that? Okay, let's go ahead over here and take off all the plugins. Reset the channel strip. It's going to remove all the plugins, the analog analog plugins that I had on there. See, I'm getting that spinning ball. Okay, now let's look. We have no plugins, right? Now I'm going to highlight all the tracks. Watch this. That's all the tracks. 30-some tracks I highlighted, right? I'm going to go to the first track. And I'm going to go to SSL. I'm going to choose the SSL 4KB. Watch this. Thirty some tracks. This it pops up on my other screen. It's here. Thirty some tracks. It took me less than a two seconds to pop up on every channel. So now I have a virtual SSL board. Virtual. I have that on every track, as you see, right? So let oh let's. Look what my processing is. Not even at 25%. And you see how it spreads out across the threads? This is what I'm telling you. This is optimized. I can even pull out the 360. It's showing up on my other screen. I can pull out the 360 software. Look at my meters. Look at my meters. Everything working good. Got coloration on here. Let's come out to three sixty. But you see where my processing is? You see how my meters are running really good? Look at that. Pretty accurate. Let's put some compression on here. Pretty accurate. So this is I just do did that to sh show you guys. I did that to show you guys that look at the processing and that's 33 plugins right there so the analog plugins if you guys are listening step your game up you're not ready for the native I mean I like the idea of what you guys are doing a couple of their preamps do sound very good uh, I did put the preamps on vocals, but it's too laggy, uses too much processing power. And the eye lock, I'll show you guys so you don't think I'm capping. The eye lock, I took a couple screenshots for you. It, this is in, in itself, this is like a whole different type of thing.
Restore your eye lock cloud section session. See that? Antelope audio. So while you're doing the mix, this will pop up. Like in the middle of your mix. And then you have to activate. Actually, you have to quit out of logic, open it back up, and then activate it on your eye lock again in the middle of a session. This is crazy. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in, man. I just wanted to put this video up in case of uh, you guys wondering about this antelope, antelope audio uh, subscription bundle. Me, personally, it's going to be a no. Uh, I tried it. For what I'm doing at this time, it's not going to be something that I'm going to add into my arsenal. And as you see, guys, I, my arsenal is crazy over here. I got all the right plugins that I need for me and to make a hit record and to mix a hit record. So, Antelope Audio, step your game up. Figure out all these bugs you got going on with your software. And other than that, I appreciate you guys. If you like the video, hit the like button and leave a comment in the bottom and let me know your experience with these native antelope plugins. Let me know if you guys are going through the same thing. It's EK. Y'all have a blessed day out.